So yes, this came in soon after the meetings that took place in the national capital earlier today. And after the meetings, the party put up a united front with Malikarjun Kharge, the AICC president, along with Siddhar Ramaya and DK Shiv Kumar, standing with hands held high, calling it a winning team. Both Siddhar Ramaya and DK Shiv Kumar have vowed to work for the welfare of the people. In a clear-cut message, in fact, they say that their hands will always be united and the party will work as a family. What has happened to the Congress party? Everything is well, everything will be, is well, will be well, is going to be well. We had made a one-line resolution that whatever the high command will take a decision, will abide by it. Ultimately, Rahulji called me and said, you all have to work together. Congress President Malikajan Kargeji called us and gave this dikat. We all have accepted whatever the formula has been generated. The question still remains, though, if uh, Congress's Karnataka challenge is over. Well, the cabinet formation is yet to be done, and it is believed that it's going to be a tightrope walk for the party. Why? Because a balanced distribution of power would be required. Means it needs to be done in a way that the MLAs of both Siddha Ramaya and those supporting the DK Shiv Kumar camp are well placated. Also, the party will have to cast balance, keeping 2024 in mind. And as per sources, a crucial meeting will be held for the discussions of the new Council of Ministers and a final decision will be taken tomorrow. And for that, we're also learning that both DK Shiv Kumar and Siddha Ramaya, though, will return to Bengaluru today. They will be back in the National capital tomorrow morning. So all eyes will be on the oath-taking ceremony and the party's next step. But the BJP already upping the ante, expressing apprehensions over the newly formed government in Karnataka and the pact, saying if this could turn into a Rajasthan 2.0 where Gehlot and Pilot are at loggerhead 